What's up to all the million dollars worth of game yes. listeners out there? If it's million dollars worth of game you're watching, if it's Gilly on Sports you're watching, if it's Adventures you're watching, if it's Where's Wallow we're watching, no matter what you're watching on right. Million Dollars Worth of Game do Network, these three things. what you need to do, you need to like, subscribe, and share. Like, subscribe, and share. Like, subscribe, share. Matter of fact, four. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Mm. Like, subscribe, share, and comment. Right. I'm talking about share with all your friends, but you gotta subscribe so you get the notification. We have a lot of big things coming. No, we got the biggest. The biggest things coming. I'm telling you stuff. You and you want to be able to get notifications. What you need to do is subscribe. Also, check out the merch. We got merch all going on. Hit the link. Check out the merch. Buy a ticket to the. There's a lot of stuff going on. Me and I was Gilly the game Fest. universe. Gilly Fest is coming. It's coming. Gilly Fest Part Two. Shh, tell you. Tell but right now, so quick. Shh. December eighth. Gilly and Wallo knockout. Knockout party. Get your tickets. Get your tickets. It's just like that. Right. It's going down December 8th. Gilly and Wallo knockout party. We got DK. We got a bunch of fights. Meatball rumbling. We got Goofies. We got White Dolomite. We, we got a bunch of people rumbling. We got people South Philly versus North Philly. We got Delaware versus, versus Philly. We got Jersey versus Philly. Big man is going down. Yeah, come on. Get I'm on. getting in there. No, I don't see. Yeah, that shit look like going down to some baby. Come on. Lock it up. Get 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 just like that, right? You're now tuned into me, 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 million dollars worth of game. The listen, biggest. man. We got listen. We got the biggest in the building the today, biggest. man. Listen, man. Kasha, not listen. This this young brother right here, he's out here letting you know it's cool to be you. It's cool to do your thing and get a load of money doing mm. it. You ain't got to be tough. You ain't got to be a rapper. You ain't got to be a ball player. And you could get tens of millions and millions of dollars just showing your world. First and foremost, I want to say welcome home from jail. You just did a Appreciate bit. It. And I'm gonna stop this. No, man. he did a bit. Appreciate you he, so he much. He did a bit. He, said, listen, man, he, did a, he stood do up. No bit, man. <laughs> he, they just did a bit. Oh, all right. So now, now okay. Was so he, bit. he 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 a fake ass uh, Pablo Escobar. I'm going to jail, but I'm gonna build my own prison and yeah, lock yeah. myself up. <laughs> I never thought about that. That wasn't big boy. You that was some like Pablo you Escobar. Your own <laughs> you build your own prison. That's crazy. Man, yeah, that's was in there playing, man. No, they wasn't. It was I'm gonna some keep real it all real, right? The see y'all, y'all set y'all shit up right. He gonna say, we sit there, he gonna say, I'm a little disappointed in Neff, right? So I'm like. Neff got my number, he could have called me and invited right. me to the, to the yeah. bitch. Yeah. How you gonna throw a prison party in and don't invite me? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no, I'm just saying, I'm not saying that I'm an authority on the bit, but I'm like, damn. I would have lo loved to have you come in and talk to the um the kids that was in there. Cause, Cause I'm um, scared straight, I would yeah. love to do that. Yeah, no. so, so you know what? what's crazy? Damn, you know what's crazy? So scared. You would have been the booty a of, warrior. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people who uh watch that they seen funny clips, like all the funny clips and all the shit that Wachowski, Krishan, a whole bunch yeah. of funny stuff that come out of it. And some people kind of criticized it, but those same people didn't take the effort to actually sit there and just watch one day of it. Bro, it's not the life. It is just from that itself. I was waking up at 6 a.m. cold, food ass, bed ass, um, strangers I was in there with. I had to get to learn to know um, when we have I had my team monitor kids are in the community that were disrespecting their parents, disrespecting their moms, doing bad. We got them in. They thinking they doing a commercial. We got them in the prison. People didn't even talk about how we sat down with them and broke it down on how like this is not how things want to go. Like I I can't imagine myself in jail, and I don't even want to mm -hmm. imagine myself in jail because that shit is the most serious shit, like yeah, ever. Besides all the funny clips that came from it and shit, like. That shit was tough. That's probably the, the hardest shit I done did. Like, mm -hmm. content-wise, like, had no phone, no nothing, no outside connection with nobody, just to chat there, but... You don't know what's going on. I life. don't know, know what's going on. When I had got out, I get on my phone for the first time, so much shit had happened in seven seven days alone, bro. Seven yeah. days, and it was crazy. No cap. Yeah. Yeah. That was crazy, because my whole thing is Gil was like, yeah, my thing was a scared straight part. I just wanted to be there for that. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 I'd have scared the shit out of them kids. <laughs> I know, cause you'd have been you, you and my cell tonight. No, I <laughs> no, I wanna, no, 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 I don't. I'd have told him some real crazy. Like, shit. I'm going home, dog. I ain't signed no, up for this. No. I thought I was coming to. Where they thought they was going to? They thought it was understand. going to like a uh, a commercial. Yeah, yeah, I I really a commercial. Yeah. commercial. That's all I want. Cause listen, when I watched Scared Straight when I was young, so now I'd have been there snap. Okay, I'd have came out this. the back. To all the kids out there, right? Uh. Don't listen to this, cause this is a whole bunch of. Shit. 
That don't make sense. They'd have been scared of me. He said, I was scared straight when I was young, and then you did 20 years, so they no, scared no, no. the shit out of you. Didn't do nothing you, you, for but, you. But you know what's crazy? <laughs> you know what I find crazy, though? Even with scared straight. Mm. We had, like, like, and I'm talking about just the black community, period. We had scared straight. We had, we all in the same gang. A self-destruction, Million Man March. The life was good. We had, for like over 40 years, it been a bunch of organizations trying to tell niggas, yo, stop killing niggas, stop being, like, stop yeah. the dumb shit. yeah. And we still at his like crazy rating, like motherfuckers still ain't getting it because mm -hmm. jail motherfuckers think jail is cool. Nah. But you saying it from a person that just, you didn't have your phone for seven days and that shit yeah. drove you crazy. Yeah, that's what I, I just wish some people that has spoke on it just literally just take the time to go watch it because there was a deeper message I was putting out. Mm -hmm. And bro, it's, it's and for seven days, bro, it's crazy. And people done it 20 years, bro, yeah. that's it's insane. You feel me? That's not something that you want to be. It's not something that you want to do at all. Like, somebody had just told me, like, why, would you want to, like, spend five years in jail for something that you did in five minutes? No, like, I, no I, I, I talked about it on the show. I said, you understand, if I if I go shoot somebody, yeah. bop, 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 that's not even seconds. That's not even five seconds. Mm -mm. A shoot and a robbery don't take even a whole minute. Mm -mm. And you could take that little couple minutes, I mean, that couple seconds, you would lose your life or somebody would kill you. And it's just a, and the thing about it is that one decision, it's about one decision. Mm -hmm. It's that one young boy that was in the car with his homies. He knew he wasn't tough, but he wanted to be down. He didn't want to feel like a bitch. He took that ride and they murdered somebody. Right. They robbed somebody. Yeah. Somebody died. And now it's like, he might would have been a good kid, yeah. but it's like influences. And that's, and even though it might seem like it's a joke, the, the people that matter, if you think about it, it wasn't no probably no young people saying this and that. the people that probably affecting them was like yo man I ain't trying to be in no jail mm -hmm. and just hear you speak about it it affect them not no old people that's critic criticizing y'all about being creative and trying to do something else yeah them niggas don't count they don't mm -hmm. even matter anybody that got a, got something to say and negative no you, your whole thing is you knew your intentions and the message that you was trying to deliver through your artistry mm -hmm. that's all that was matter yeah yeah what are you talking about yeah you know what I mean yeah. but how do you deal with the criticism because it's like you're doing your thing. A person that think, damn, Neff just sitting in the crib all day, kicking it up. He doing no. He doing is entertainment. Yeah, yeah. I when when it comes to the criticism and stuff like that, bro. I'm telling you, I'm so tunnel vision focused that like I don't have time to dwell and to 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 anchor myself and and, and worry about what people have to say too much. You feel what I'm saying? Because I know where I want to be at the end of the day, and I know what I'm truly trying to do and and for myself at the end of the day. You feel what I'm saying? So like when anything come up and. Like that, I don't pay it too much mind because I know like what I really meant and stuff to do. So I take it like that. I, I usually ignore. I'm really good at ignoring like negativity. So let me ask you a question. I'm not tripping. Coming up, was you was you a, was you a popular kid coming up, or did you just get your niche somewhere along the way? I was just a dumb kid in class who like to make jokes all day. Yeah. Like class clown, I got it in like mad yearbooks. I'm just f***ing around and shit like that. I wouldn't say I was the old popular kid, but I was like, okay, this little. Funny, you feel yeah. what I'm saying? So like, yeah. I was just always playing around, dancing, um, making jokes. Um, scared as hell to talk to bitches though, but I was just in my own zone. Just you, and all still, that stuff. you still in that? What scared to scared to talk to bitches? Yeah. Hell no! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what to make sure I'm you grew up. Out. I'm just making sure you grew up out of that. Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he said no, not no. All these panties getting through your way. You <laughs> <ducking them. laughs> He ducking the you still, You ain't got no kids None of that Nah You nah. single Yes Oh damn He's single No kids yeah. Well we're gonna start the show The next show is Dayton Kai <laughs> <laughs> Presented by Million dollars worth of game You just gonna get a mansion And have a bunch of chicks Come through and holler at you <laughs> See what's up but, but, but two years ago Yeah How did this begin Two years ago You got in the game How What was the first move You make Because a lot of people See you now But they don't see you Before the followers jump Yeah Before the twitch Where did you start How many followers so, What was you at Yeah so so two years ago was when I started streaming. Okay. I started doing little, so if I'm taking y'all all the way back. Yes. I was doing, my mom had bought me my phone for the first time. I started like, how I don't old, know. How, how old was you? How old was I? Probably like, nah, I was probably like going to, going into high school for 14. Oh, you're going back. Yeah, back. I'm, yeah, okay. I'm going back. In back. the Bronx. Yeah, in the Bronx. I'm in the Bronx. Damn, mom, he came up in the dirtiest part of New York. Yeah. Oh, shut the that's the dirtiest bro, part. Yeah, they do say that. They do say that. They say that. Everybody said that. No, 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 no. Shut that down. Everybody say that. They say the rats is bigger in the Bronx. It's not the dirtiest. What was the dirtiest? What's the dirtiest part? Manhattan, bitch. Manhattan. Get the fuck out of here. No, the fuck is not. I did see a rat at a restaurant one time. Bro, Manhattan got the dirtiest. Bro, it's the most. That's where everybody go. Yeah, damn. Look, the Bronx just look crazy because it's the hood. That's where Times Square. Yeah, hell yeah. A lot of rats. 
fucking rats down there, bro. Yeah, I did. Bro, actually, it's the whole New York just a little York. dirty, bro. <laughs> it's like, but it's cool, though, because you know why? Because it's the aesthetic of New York, bro. It's okay to go down the street, get a big and nigga cheese, walk back home and see a big ass rat run across. You feel me? That's just New York. Yo, yo, I don't like, I don't like, the, I don't do it. And speaking of rats, the reason why I kind of blew up on the stream machine is because a rat ran out in my room on stream. See? That, and it was in the box. <laughs> Come on, man. You was in the Bronx. Come on, man. Damn. Bro. He was in the Bronx. Like, in Philly, we got mice. Came right, jumped on his head. We got mouse. A rat. This we like got a dog. mice in Philly. No, my was a mouse. It's calling it a rat, though. How it was big a, was it? Bro, it was tiny as shit, bro. Like, oh, right. it, was t- it was a tiny little mouse, bro. That shit said they're street, but that shit said, psh. Yeah, exactly. They're like, yo, <laughs> that's his pet. He's like, no, that's my pet. It's cool. Don't worry about that shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> nah, but um, let me try. I'm gonna take y'all back, but not, not too back. But um, yeah, I was doing skits, skits, skits. I was posting on Facebook. Everybody in New York or from New York or wherever, you know, Facebook is like the local place to post all your shit. Everybody locally gonna mm-hmm. see. Shit. I was doing skits for a little bit. Um, it started changing, getting traction in, the, in traction in the Bronx, in New York itself. People were supporting me. Then I transferred over to YouTube. Got YouTube going. Once I got YouTube going, um, I had. Built my way up and being more consistent, being more consistent, getting videos done every time. Then I joined my group called AMP. They were supposed to be a hit. I wanted them to come so bad, yeah, but yeah. we all got busy and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, I'm part of a group called AMP, and the six of us, and we just been grinding gotta this come whole back. time. We gotta do another episode. Yeah, of course, of course. Okay. Um, and then we uh, we just been grinding this whole time. And then I, when I started streaming, which two years ago in my mom's house, um, I started I started streaming, and the rest is history. No cap. I was started grinding, grinding, grinding. The mouse hammer out in my room. Everybody took that clip, went crazy. I thought it was over. I'm like, oh my god. I'm not about to get no bitches. Everybody about to call me dirty. It's about to be everywhere. This is embarrassing. But everybody just kept laughing. I'm like, you know what? I gotta just embrace this. Shit. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I'm in the hood. Like, I'm in the Bronx. You feel mm-hmm. me? So, what people don't understand too, and anybody want to get streaming, start streaming now, mm-hmm. what, starting in your mom crib or starting in the hood in general and like working with what you got is the best thing you can do and let the people see the progress. Like, yeah. like people your mom coming in your room arguing with you, sister in the room arguing with you, brother arguing with you, it's the best thing you can do. Right. Yeah. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by Body Armor. Body Armor is real hydration, real ingredients, packed with electrolytes, vitamins, and nothing artificial. Body Armor has a great sports drink, flavors like strawberry banana and blue raspberry. A lot of people Hydrate with body armor, but some of the best athletes in the world do as mm-hmm. well. I'm talking about Christian McCaffrey. I'm talking Joe about Barrow. touchdown Joe Barrow. I'm talking about Ronald Acuna Jr. I'm talking about, and it hurts me to say this because he's a cowboy. Yeah. But he does hydrate with body armor. C.D. Lamb. Mm-hmm. And my nephew, Bryce Young. Shout out to Bryce. That's Shout my guy. Bryce. You all see us playing basketball together. But also... The, one of my favorites is the water. I love the, the Body Armor water. It's great for, you know, had it at the Gilly Fest, so shout out to Body yeah. Armor. Late night recordings, fall activities, etc. Yeah. Body Armor is available in stores nationwide, but you can head over to Body Armor store on Amazon and get yours today. Available, once again, in stores nationwide, but you can head over to Body Armor store at Amazon and order you some of that Body Armor today. Right, get hydrated with body armor because that's gonna help really my shit take off on social media. Mm-hmm. Cause I'll wake up and say shit. my woman in the background. I'm, I play with my kids. Mm-hmm. And I just show them regular life. Yeah, like real shit that go on. Like, I, and I wasn't even looking at it like that. Like. I was setting it up like that. Oh, I'm going to show him regular life. And then I just was just being me. You, yeah. Mm-hmm. I just put my phone out. What? To, you just, she said some crazy shit. I just, and that helped my shit take off. Yeah. Because people love to see when you authentic, man. Yeah. And when you ain't, because me and my woman be on, be having disagreements right there on live. <laughs> Mother like that because they like. They can relate to it. Me and my. Yeah. They have disagreements. Matter of fact, we was arguing about the same shit two weeks ago. So the, that when you authentic like that and you embrace who you are is always best. That's the reason why Wallow took off because Wallow came home from jail as a grown ass man was like 37 37. years old making videos like yeah I'm in nanny middle room right now I'm in nanny basement right now you feel me see this money right here this a this a thousand dollars I'm gonna turn this thousand dollars into a million dollars just watch me work like, okay. Then they start seeing you elevate, and they like, oh, yeah. shit. 
dudes be laughing. They don't. They think it's a game. Yeah, right. Because you know when you come from the hood, anything. If you listen, when you come from the ghetto, if you're not robbing, you're shooting, you're selling drugs, you're some goofy shit. Mm. If you're not doing anything to fuck up the community, to kill black people, or to tear black people down, they don't think you're cool a lot of times. Yeah. Like, you, you, they don't understand that smart is cool. We don't. We, we catch on that late. So a mother be looking at you like, did you have that from people that you knew? Like, yo, he tripping, man. He yeah, goofy. what? All the time, bro. When I was coming up and shit like that, I was in high school doing the craziest shit. Like, I had girls looking at me like, what the hell doing? Like, just being myself. I'm going on live. Po- I'm going to high school, going to class and shit. Everybody face going home doing dumb shit on my camera, posting that bitch to going back to school the next day. And it was like some people was calling me, tr- some people was calling my shit trash that I was going to the same school with. Some people was like, "This is not funny. He's corny." In New York, I think it's the hardest, hardest place to, to 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 grow to to blow up because it's like in New York, it's like showing support is dick riding, like not yeah. dick riding that. Like, oh, that's but, Philly too. But Philly. yeah, 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 yeah. So like, it, it's just like, damn, like it's you going how to get it out your own. And but I've always had that But I've never let that Get to my head at all Cause I, I swear I, I've always had a vision And every time When I went up myself I just get more motivated More motivated More motivated More motivated And it was just it, I feel like it was just Bound to happen Like with the hard work I put in From the work you put in From you know Starting When you started the stream Or from when you started How long did it take you To become a millionaire? Ah. Uh, I think I just can't even remember. Damn. Um, when that first time you seen that, that it was, wire it was, hit, you yeah, yeah. you like. It, it, it was probably like, I hate talking about money, but probably like when I was like, ah, man, probably about like two, three years ago. Mm. Two, three years ago. Damn, and wait, hold on. You just started streaming two years ago. Yeah, I know. But so I was doing, I was doing you was YouTube. No, 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 no. I had hit it when I was streaming, while I was streaming. Oh, okay. But yeah, but it was before doing YouTube and all that shit. And then, um, no, no, not before you do YouTube, but it was with YouTube, streaming, and all the other so, stuff so that I had added you, up. So, because people don't understand this. When you was on YouTube, you made a, you made millions off of YouTube. Uh, not, 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 not. I was, when I was, on, at the time before I was streaming, when I was on YouTube, I was just making some money here and here and here and here. Like, like here, there, here. And I was, um, I was just always saving, 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 saving until it just finally reached that point. And you, you snapped out. Yeah, and I snapped out, yeah. When it comes to like, um, when it comes to like, I'm weird when it comes to the topic of money. It is cool. Cause, yeah, it's cool. just because of the simple fact that like, I don't know, like, I feel like, I don't know, I, I don't really like, Talking about it too much because people just look at me different. No, we don't really point. talk about money. No, yeah, yeah. You see us, yeah, yeah. we don't leave with money. <laughs> yeah. Hey, y'all should see. First of all, let me go ahead and, and round of applause for these niggas in the back. Them two right here, Bruh, They made this shit work. <laughs> the <laughs> hotel bed is flipped up yeah. on Show each other. Yeah. Like, Bro, this shit look crazy, and I love it because like that's how you do it. And we and we bro, and we the biggest, yes. big, big, biggest in the game. And I was, and I was telling and I was telling them. Um, I, I I don't like to like I do podcasts here and there, but I always had y'all podcast to be on my list, and I'm finally doing it. So I, first of all, I appreciate y'all for having me no, we had and you. stuff like that, and I and I love what y'all got going on, and the message y'all be putting out too is fire, it's relatable, and it's a good thing to watch. No cap, like these people right here, real, like like no fake. Shit, you feel me? <laughs> nah. For real, for real, no cap. Now now, how is it? How has you know the fame and the stardom? Has it messed up relationships, family, friends, and people switching up and thinking the entitlement has anything? The, the only, um, well, when everything started, the only thing that, the I'll talk about the blessings first, the blessings that it could be in a position to my mom, whatever she need, yeah. bro, all she got to do now is just call me. Like, that's the, I feel like that's like the best thing ever because I came from the shelter. Like, I just, my mom was a single mom. She did everything by herself. Four, uh, uh, four kids. My, my, my little brother's dad was in his life, but for the first three, she was doing everything by herself. Where was your father? Uh, my pops, he, um, he just, he had, I, don't, I can't remember when he left, but I know him and stuff like that. He cool, but um, he, he was growing up was never like around for my mom and stuff like that. She thugged it out by herself, doing a lot of shit. You feel me? So to see her go from that and to never give up, and on top of that. Believing in me, like I feel like that's very important for parents to do is believe in their kids, like for whatever they want to do, because sometimes they can shut down dreams, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, and I know, like my Caribbean, my Caribbean people or my African people, like you know how households be strict as hell. Yes, you feel me. But um, sometimes, bro, my mom believed in me, and it went so like now that I can, now that she can call me and be like, God, I need it. Oh, it's done. You feel me? That should be the goal. Like my mom could call me for whatever. She come first. You feel me? That like that was the first blessing of everything that's going on. I bought my mom a house about 
a little bit over a year ago, mm-hmm. and that had to be the best thing that I could have did. My mom is, is she has a she has a nice backyard. She's just chilling right now. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, then, um, I was always wise with who my friends were. Okay. I got a certain amount of friends, a very strict number of certain amount of friends. You feel what I'm saying? And I don't just let anybody in my circle because I, my friends that I grew up with or who seen things from the start are still my friends today. You feel what I'm saying? Right. And I look at them, I look at them like on a whole other level than anybody who I'm just mean and stuff like that. But it's just like you gotta be careful on the circle because you never you never know what people around you for or what they really want out of you and stuff like that. And um people definitely treat me differently, like in terms of like I would when I'm with my friends and stuff like that, I would want a person that I meet to treat my friends exactly how they treat me. Right. Without without my in the in the in the in the in the in the air and stuff like that, mm-hmm. treat them exactly how they would treat me. If, if not, and I could just see somebody treating me a little better or a little more over somebody else, I, I just I just don't like. You feel what I'm saying? I just like to be treated just like everybody else. No I cap. mean, in a friendship game, sometimes you gotta add or you gotta subtract. Mm-hmm. You know, when Lou came home from from jail, one thing he was surprised about, he was like, "You don't got no street with you," uh. and I'm like, "I ain't on no street." Uh-huh. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't even want that type of energy around me. Uh-huh. I want the energy around me that everybody is around me is doing something, mm-hmm. getting to some money in some sign of way. You feel what I'm saying? I don't want to know who who got to work in the hood, uh-huh. who just the, the who the feds just ran down on. Who I don't want to know none of that shit no more. I I, I don't. I was listening to that type of shit, going through that type of shit, my whole motherfucking life. My Teens, early twenties. I'm not trying to be around that type of energy no more. You feel what I'm saying? So if you're not doing something productive, mm. and we can't see eye to eye because you over here and I'm over here, then you gonna stay the fuck over there, and I'm gonna love you from mm-hmm. a distance, mm-hmm. respectfully. Because, respectfully. Yeah, yeah. And that's real. Now, how growing up in the Bronx, how did you hold on to your individualism and continue to be you? And not get caught up in the streets, the drug yeah. game, and don't become a you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. So, uh, when I was growing up and stuff like that, the street aspect, and I had a lot of people in the streets around me. It just never caught my attention, and not my brothers, not my sister. Like we were just never caught up in like wanting to be in a gang or wanting to go outside or be on the block. And I think the reasoning for that, and it saves, and I, and it saves a lot of people, bro. Video games, like. Low key, I was in the crib just gaming, bro. I was yeah. playing video games all day, watching YouTube. I grew up watching. I'm running home to watch my favorite YouTuber's video. You feel what I'm saying? Or 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 see when the next game coming out. And I was just in my house, just playing the game all day. I did not want to go outside. You feel what I'm saying? And um, I just like playing video games. And just never, I just never had a a thing for being on the block or nothing. Like I just never had that. Like an urge to want to go outside and be outside. I was just always an inside type of person and I still am till this day. Like I could be in my room for hours alone just chilling. You feel what I'm saying? So that's like, so like when it comes to like not wanting to go outside and stuff like that, that's what I would say was the, what's the reason for it. That's big because a lot of youngest be influenced by, yeah. by what's going on in their environment and what's around them and the idea of what they think is cool and who is popular. And they don't even notice that it's happening too. Like that's the thing about when you're in the hood, you don't even notice these things are building steps on like setting you up to, to fail, bro. And they don't notice it because that's all they got around them. Right. You know? That's right. all they got around them. That's why That's why like, like a lot of people in this day and age, streaming is like, bro, you could go down to a kid today and ask that person what he want to be, bro. He ain't going to say rapper. He ain't going to say this, not that. You ask these people what they want to be now, bro, it's streamers, bro. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And that's and I love it because it's going to keep them inside. Right. It's going to keep them doing what they want to do and what they love. Now, okay. how, how, how do it start? Like, when you say streamer, like, you make a bread off it. How do they pay people for that? You sit, like, how do the payment go? Yeah, so basically, they, I mean, it's just like YouTube or any other um, thing you do. You just put your bank information on it, and then after you had to hit, uh, hit a threshold um, amount to be able to get paid. And then once you hit that threshold amount with, ad, with ads and stuff, funding and stuff like that on your channel and stuff, um, you got to get partnered. But once you get once you get that rolling, as soon as you as soon as that start rolling and it start hitting, it just goes straight to the account, straight to the account, mm. straight to the account. Yeah, just like a, just like any other YouTuber or Twitch or anybody who do Twitch and stuff like that. So. Yeah, it just it just goes straight there. 
Now, okay. you said something about your team. Who do you, your team consist of? Because when I was talking to you, you was like, yo, my team, my team. Yeah. And you always said your team. You never said me, me. You never you never say you. You said yeah. my team. Who is your team and what yeah, do everybody so, do? Yeah, so um, so when it comes to anything I do, I always try to get A and P involved. That, that stands for any means possible. Okay. So by any means possible, we're going to get shit done. By any means possible, we're going to achieve our dreams. By any means possible, we're just going to stick together as a unit, no cap. Mm -hmm. So it's six of us, Duke. Phantom, me, Chris, Davis, and Agent. Um, we all do the same thing, which is YouTube and streaming and stuff like that. So I'm going to tell you how everything uh, began. So long story short, my boy Phantom is from the Bronx. Me and Phantom, um, we met like, I think like three going on four years. But me and Phantom been cool since like 2019 um, and stuff like that. He from the Bronx, so we had so much relatable things and stuff like that. And I never met another content creator that was so serious about what he wanted to do. And when we met for the first time, bro, no cameras, no nothing. When you meet a YouTuber, they come vlogging and stuff. No cameras, no nothing. We sit down in my mom's house. It's just a good conversation. Hour, hour to two, two hours long. Like, good conversation. Like, where we at now? What's the vision? Where we want to be at? You feel what I'm saying? Um, Agent Duke and and Agent Duke and Davis they were they started off on 2K NBA 2K they were uploading videos on there and stuff like that and they all they all knew each other I was the last I was like the, one of the last to join the group so they was already having things going but I was one of the last hold on one minute when you say uploading videos too uh, well, what you mean uploading you like they was playing 2K it was That's a basketball. Yeah, yeah, basketball game they was playing 2K on, on NBA 2K no, I don't be knowing man <laughs> I, got mad and I don't know which one is which. I'm just making sure that I'm not. I don't know. I gotta ask it. <laughs> yeah, so they were playing 2K and it was recording, they were recording the gameplay, and they was uploading it, and it would go crazy. It would, and it was like, people would want to okay. watch people play games like how I stream. People would want to watch them play 2K, and they would be doing that. I was even part of the audience of people that I've watched them, and now to be in the group with them is it's crazy. But Phantom had sat me that one time. And he like, and I'm in college, bro. It's so crazy. Like, what college you was at? Mooresville, Mooresville State College, okay. up upstate. In the middle of nowhere, bro. Middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Horses around. Just nothing. You I'm play over sports? here. Uh, nah, I didn't play sports. I didn't play. I saw. You didn't go outside. He what told was your major? You. Uh, my major was business administration. Okay. And, uh, but I was I was in college and I, I was always making videos in college on a daily. Like I told myself, I remember September fifth, September fifth, twenty nineteen is when I told myself from here on. Every two days, I'm going to upload a YouTube video and try to be consistent with what I do. You feel me? I'm uploading, I'm uploading, I'm uploading. I fly back. Phantom sent me down, me and him talking. He like, he like, so, so, have you ever traveled before? Have you ever been on a plane before? I'm like, hell nah. I never, I never, I never been on a plane. I've been on a plane one time when I was like a little ass kid, but I've <laughs> yeah. never been on another one. He like, yo, I'm going to take you to Atlanta, which mm. is here. Yeah. So that after, my boy Agent, he was already doing his thing on 2K again. He had some, some money and shit like that, a nice house and stuff like that, doing it. So I land here on a plane. I'm outside the window looking outside. Like, when you know when he's getting on the plane for the first time? It's like, yo. Yeah. So I'm outside the window just looking. We land. We get in an Uber. We go, on, we go on the way to the neighborhood. I'm looking at the neighborhood. I'm seeing these houses, bro. I've never seen big houses in my life at this point. So I'm looking at these houses. I'm like, damn. Just looking at every house. We, step, we get to my boy Agent Crib, and I'm seeing, like, these YouTube gold plaques. I'm like, yo. This is real. You feel what I'm saying? So I went there. I seen what they had going on. Um, I wasn't in the group yet. They was making videos. And I pulled Phantom aside. I'm like, bro, I don't think I could join. I don't think I could be a part of the group. He like, why? He like, I'm like, y'all, the chemistry is too good mm. that I wouldn't want to mess that up for y'all. Like, I feel like that chemistry is just way too good. And he like, he like, nah, bro, just be you. Just, just do your thing on the video. Like, I'm gonna just have you in the background and just be you. I just did me. And then after that, the guys just fuck with me and shit like that. And then. They was like, how you feel about joining the group? And I'm like, yeah, we had this vision. We all moved to Atlanta, got a house together, stayed there, make content, grinding, making content, crazy content, doing crazy fireworks in the house. We had rented this one, this one house. We doing fireworks in there, bringing the zoo over there, zebras running around the crib, everything. We just wanted to- Where y'all get a zebra? That's not, I don't know, bro. I was just getting, I was just trying to do anything, like okay. going crazy. So we doing all this shit in the house, and then like we start getting traction, bro. This episode of Million Dollars Worthy Game is brought to you by ShipStation. The holidays are the busiest time of the year. Yes. Don't get stuck worried about shipping orders. You know, especially me, I don't get stuck. I already got ShipStation lined up. Mm -hmm. Let ShipStation do the heavy lifting so you and your team can put your time, money, and energy into more important yes. things. The ShipStation dashboard is so easy. I'm telling you, I'm telling you personally. 
It's so easy because I use it. The dashboard is so easy and keep everything organized for you right there. Yes. I love the free trial, quick setup, especially with the holiday season coming up. Now it's time to try out ShipStation. With ShipStation, you can quickly and easily update crucial order information and reduce errors. Effortlessly integration everywhere you sell yes. online, including Amazon, SD, eBay, Shopify, and more. ShipStation manage orders, print labels, compare rates, mm -hmm. optimize every shipment, mm -hmm. and automate no and automate delivery notifications. Get up to 84% off. I'm talking about 84% off United mm -hmm. States Postal Service and UPS rates. Over a hundred, I'm talking about 130 companies have selected their e-commerce business with ShipStation. Yes. And 98% of the companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for life. Yes. Let your customers shop risk-free this holiday with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com and use code GAME today and sign up for your free, I'm talking about free 60-day trial. Mm. I'm talking about free, free. 60 days out. That's ShipStation.com, code GAME. It's going down December 8th, Gillian Wallow knockout party. We got DK, we got a bunch of fights. Meatball rumbling, we got Goofies, we got White Dolomite. We, we got a bunch of people rumbling. We got people, South Philly versus North Philly. We got Delaware versus, versus Philly. We got Jersey versus Philly. We, man, it's going down. Yeah, come on, get on. I'm getting in there. No, I want to see. Yeah, that shit look like it's going down December 8th. Hey, come on. Lock it up. Uh, get up. 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 Don't, 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 don't. December think you gonna call me the week up. Listen, You're not listen. getting in. Pay per view is going down. Listen, You're not going you want to get this? Listen, you want to be in the house though. Because somebody's getting knocked out. I might even box myself. It's just like that, right? And like we start believing ourselves, more conversations. We all on the yeah. same page. So you moved down here. I moved down here, yeah, officially. And that was a big step because I love New York. You feel me? So having my own space dirty for ass, bro. the dirty the first Bronx. Time, yeah, I love the Bronx. All right, my fault. Yeah, One thing shit. about you and your man though, who's the other kid from the Bronx? Phantom. Y'all two dirty niggas came up together. Man. <laughs> Philly's not dirty. <laughs> Filthy, yeah. but it ain't dirty in New York because y'all. Yeah. They had four project houses on yep, one or block. two block radius. Yep. That's 72,000 <laughs> living on this two block. Yeah. That's a lot of action. Yeah, it, it, it is crazy. And elevator, bro. Yeah, yeah. It'd be, it be, it be fucking insane. But yeah, we uh we just stood together and we was on the same page. And people got to understand that how important it is to have friends that's, that want the best for you and friends that's on the same page or have the same mindset as you. Because once mm -hmm. you have those people around you, you have... It's literally... Nature, like you're gonna, you're gonna be who you're around. So if everybody working, you gonna work. If mm -hmm. everybody being lazy, you gonna be lazy. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. Like people doing wrong shit around you, you gotta be able to, to realize, like, hey, okay, let me separate myself from these. Dudes. Let me do my own thing. If they around you, you should be happy. Your friend, but do you know how hard it is to find friends who are generally want to just see you win? Mm -hmm. That's hard. People like to see you do good, but not better than them, bro. And it's so hard to just find people that just want to see you win. And just wow, like right. yo, he going crazy. Right? You feel me? Because right. people just be envy one day and just don't like what you're doing and shit like that. I done had an experience where somebody, um, I had a close with somebody to me that that just, just I had to let them go because they were being real envy and what I had going on. Yeah. So I had to like, stop it right there and like, hey, <laughs> let me just chill. You feel what I'm, I'm saying? Done. Get out of so, here. Yeah, exactly. So. I had to, I had to just keep moving on my and do my own thing. No that, cap. That's, sometimes you gotta let them go. Everybody can't go. Yeah, everybody, everybody can't, can't go. go, bro. Everybody can't go because soon as I'm one thing's for sure, two things for certain, right? Everybody really think that I'm the asshole of million mm. dollars worth of game mm. when it's really him. What? He really the motherfucker. He don't got no patience. What he be doing? See, okay, a motherfucker got one time to do some dumb yeah. shit, just one time, and he like he put me to because he did some dumb. Be done, cuz. Get him out of here, cuz. First of all, you always tell me to get him out of here, though. Get him out of here, cuz. He did some dumb <laughs> <laughs> boy, boy. I'm I'm no that be like. He three strike boy. I'm like, no, cuz. We got it. That's his first one. I'm going to go talk to him. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get. Because I handle shit like a real business, like a real job. Yeah, yeah. You feel what I'm saying? I don't want to go through no lawsuits and shit. Motherfucker, do one thing. We get rid of him. You're done. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> now we all in court. I mean, we can't get so, rid of him at one time, but right. Right. So I come, damn, bro. You know you. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, cool. Another time, the third time, it's like, bro, you did this. I came to you. You came back. You did this. 
Now you're doing this. You're done. But have, have it ever been a time when I come with that one joint? Because we got to get, it always hit three strikes, right? It do. It do. But I see that, that shit. I'm like, see, because one, one thing that I measure, I measure multiple things when I measure, when I see some dumb shit going on. I measure my number one thing where you fucked up with me. I don't care who you are. Yeah. Family, friends, entitlement, you're done. You're done. You're, when, when you think that you're supposed to just get something based off of some work you ain't put in and you looking at my shit and I, just, and I just was in jail 20 years and if I came home and I was a janitor at Walmart, you wouldn't give a fuck about me and what I had going on. You think you're entitled. You never made it out the Bronx. So you got to think about it. So that entitlement, that's number one. Number two, attitude. Mm. Like when the attitude, number three, when you just, you, you're trying to finesse the system. Because mm. people will come around you just to be able to get some light off. So you can share some light on some shit that they trying to do underground. Yeah. Right. And trying to really like, they use your whole operation to try to bust some other moves yep. outside of the program. And it's like, bro, that's not why you're here. Mm-mm. Right. Because we big on, we big on this. Uh, you do production. That's what the f*** you here for. Yeah. All right. Wait, hold on. You you do what you okay? You do sales. That's what the f*** you yeah. here for. Nigga. Cool shit. I don't want to hear you do sales nigga, and you got a podcast about no. sales on the side. No. No. F- your podcast. Oh, you do sales. Nigga. We pay you. You here to do sales. Yeah. You ain't here to be taking pictures with the guests. Rapping. <laughs> I ain't with all that shit. Hashtagging your podcast coming sooner. We getting you out of here. You're done. You're done. <laughs> We not hey, bro, put up merch, with none of that shit. I got some merch. I got some yeah, merch. Be, because, bro, we, I don't want to hear nothing about your homies. But they got, bro, but you're here to do what you need to yes. do. Yes. That's just like if I give you my phone number, I'm giving you my phone number for that reason. Mm-hmm. I'm not calling nobody. I don't call nobody. Yo, my man, bro, I ain't give you my number for that shit. Mm-mm. And he know I'm like I'm like zero tolerance shit because we shouldn't have to be telling no grown ass men how to conduct themselves. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Like, come on, man. So I, that's why I just be hardcore with people. I ain't playing because I know I know people be having the wrong intentions out here. People' intentions be bad, and everybody trying to come up without putting the work in. Yeah. So I, that's why. I and be let me on. tell. I'm just, just before we go, we're going for this is off the record. To all my homies out there, right? If you really my homie, right? Stop that dumb shit, man. Stop being around, nigga. Yeah, that's my man. I call him right now and all that. Shit. You know you my <laughs> man. You ain't got to be Facetime me with eleven. <laughs> yo, what's up? <laughs> So, come on, man. Stop yeah. that shit, man. For real, man. Because that's some of the worst shit that bother me the most, man. And there should be a lot of old heads who probably be somewhere. To, but that's my young boy. I raised him and all this shit lying. And then FaceTime me. What's up? Did they say some shit they don't use him? What's up, Neff? You're like, Neff? <laughs> mm-hmm. F- are you talking about? <laughs> he never called me Neff. Yeah. 42 niggas behind him. Yo, what's up? Stop that shit. Yeah. Man, I, I hate that shit, man. Yeah. If I fuck with you, I fuck with you, man, and I fuck with you. Mm-hmm. Don't never call me with no other niggas on the phone, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I had to get that fact. out because the just fact. did that. Get that shit out. I hate that shit. Yeah, get but that no, shit out. That's a fact. But no, like, like I, I'm glad you highlighted your team because none of this shit is, 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 you know, like what me and Gil do, if we ain't have our cameraman, it wouldn't happen. Yeah. If we ain't had sell, all this stuff play a part. Yeah, and everybody I mean, who's who they are today, they they not doing it by themselves. Yeah, got they got team. people behind the scenes that's going crazy. No I mean, cap. But everybody, everybody think like in this day we think we can always do it by ourselves. Because I'm like, listen, man, I'd rather fifty percent than hundred percent of nothing. Uh huh. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? And I don't think people understand that a lot of times. And and, and then you know what? We we live in a space where people look at you and think what you do is just easy. Man, he ain't doing it. No, Mm-mm. no, it's not. Mm-mm. Coming up with concepts, coming up with the energy every day, getting up every day. Like you're here and you do something, and this is what people don't understand. You do something that globally everybody want. Mm. Everybody don't want this different stuff that's out here. And I tell people that I'm in the field of, you know, the entertainment space that we might be in, humor, all that type of shit. Yeah. Everybody on the planet wanna laugh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we got we got eight billion different people to really serve it. So for those that's not on it, cool. You might don't laugh to my stuff, but you wanna laugh. So I might but everybody wanna laugh. Yeah. We got a product that everybody like. Yeah. Everybody product that they selling on social media, wherever it's wherever they got podcasts, wherever they doing whatever they doing. Everybody on the planet don't want that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everybody on the planet don't want to start a business. Everybody yeah. on the planet don't want to uh, learn how to grow flowers. Everybody don't want to have be a vegan. Mm-hmm. Everybody want to laugh. Yeah. No, it's a miserable motherfucker out here. It's like two percent of miserable motherfuckers that well, don't want to laugh. Well, still, still more than anything. You see, niggas come home from jail and they be so tough they don't want to laugh. Be funny shit they like this. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yo, my homie called me the other day, teeth, right? Man, you listen, can laugh, There's no man. bullshit. Yo, he didn't see y'all stuff. But me and Gil, somebody called me the other day, and I had him on voice message, one of the homies from jail. And he just called and talked shit randomly. He said, Wow, you know what's crazy, man? I realized that you was the scaredest nigga in jail all that time we did. Yes, you Gil love that shit. And I'm mm -hmm. like, and it was funny. He's like, yo, man, why? He's so Gil hang up. We hang up. He laughing. He like, why? He said, why did he say that? I said, cuz, come to think about it, I was. <laughs> I didn't realize it. Because I used to be like, oh, what? They, they rumbling in the yard. They went, but they rumbling. Two days ago, I ain't going to the yard for a week. I'm chilling. <laughs> No, because listen, my whole thing is this is my whole thing, Kai. and I don't think under people understand this, Kai. You go jail, you go to jail to get out of jail. Not you don't go to jail to get in jail. Mm. Like fuck, I'm gonna go to the hole for why? Fuck, I'm gonna be around some shit yeah. that's dangerous. Yeah, like I don't even want to be. In, I don't even want to be in the mix of this shit. Start going on or, or whatever. You know what I mean? And I think like that was my whole thing. My time when I was in jail, I was in there educating, reading stuff. I'm calling home, telling him about shit. Yo, cuz listen, you, off, you know they say, yo, come that on, up. man. That's 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 a part of my life. I'm calling, like, yo, man. I'm calling home. I'm like, yo, this. I'm telling him shit yeah, he about. He really, he ain't squeezed one out when he was in it. He ain't really doing no bit. You ain't doing no, no bit. You ain't no bit. Y'all do playing. I'd have brought the books. I'd have came in. I had a, had a box of books and anything what? ready. <laughs> then, come on, I'd have been written my books. Come on, two soups, man. You would have, you would have, you would have separated the cells like Sean. I mean, the beds like Sean. You would have put one bed together for you and your That's why I was telling you, I would have had a whole joint. I'm like, damn, he's. I'd have had a whole my own cell. He'd have made one, one queen size bed for him and his I'd have had a store and I'd have been written out the smut books. Y'all ain't even had no smut books. Y'all messed it up. Y'all ain't had no smut books and no smut pictures from IG. You know what I mean? No, they had they had brought a magazine with with bitches in it, but the fing CO scene ain't confiscated that bitch. Damn, CC. I'd have been in there and know how to finesse the CO's. I'd have to finesse the CO's bringing shit. So y'all ain't really. <laughs> they we didn't have the phones and everything. We were random raids taking everything that we had. Like, we didn't do fans. Ain't little shit. See, we'd have had, I'd have had them on live. We'd have been paying them. <laughs> how would Phil though know you really, you really was running this shit? What you mean, like, like the whole shit? Yeah. Uh, I'm saying no. I'm saying no. Motherfucker, really telling you what to do, but you really running this yeah, whole I, shit. Yeah, I, I you decided really to was do this whole shit. <laughs> and I really, I didn't even think, but I put like when it comes to like that, I tell everybody, okay, when we about to start, when we about to, when this shit go live, don't act like I run this. Like, don't you can treat me how you like. This is jail. Like real. Shit. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, I, it was, bro. It was, it was not fun, bro. It, I I had, get, it was, uh, it was funny moments in there, but that shit, like, when everybody had left and it was getting dark, and it, and it, and it, and I was in that cold ass room in that whack ass bed. That's when shit was like, damn, this shit is whack. This and and when I started like, when I started losing my mind was when I was waking up 6 a.m. I ate breakfast, but all you could do in that shit is walk and talk. But all you could do in that shit is just literally walk. I was just to keep track of my, my steps because, but all I was just doing in there was walking and talking. Eat breakfast, okay. Uh, now, just be in there. Day room. Just, hey, bro, not doing shit. That shit is whack, bro. Like, I was like losing my mind. So I'm like, yo, chat, I'm starting to lose it. Like, this shit getting bad, bro. You feel what I'm saying? You don't so, have any gambling tickets in there? They was doing like they was doing gambling shit with the um with the money that we no, was getting. Now tickets like sports betting. Nah, we didn't do See, that. See, I wasn't betting for real. See, we, that's we, what I'm saying. That's that, why I need. That, but there was so much shit that we didn't get to get. Like the commissary, we didn't do like no Damn, commissary. The commissary shit. Like, it was bad, bro. Oh, yeah, you don't get commissary though. When you you be you go through about seven days before you make yeah. it to the, yeah. the yeah. commissary. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? That shit was that shit was. That shit was but bad. the one thing I want to say, tell all the streamers out here, all the people with podcasts out here, all the youngins coming up. I ain't really talking to no old. Because y'all should be old enough to already know this, even though y'all don't. Don't think you're going to come up off the back of another mm -hmm. though. Mm -hmm. Don't think, oh, I'm a diss Kai, I'm a diss this person, I'm a diss that person, and I'm going to come up. You're not. Mm -hmm. You're never going to come up. It's mm -hmm. never going to happen for you. Your your whole energy is bad. Mm -hmm. So, And the whole basis of what you're putting down has no ground foundation. So it's mm -hmm. never going to work. Figure out who you are. Mm -hmm. Figure out what you're good at and figure out what the people like from you. Mm. That's the biggest find right there. What do the people like that I do? That that nobody else is bringing because being a clout warrior, a clout warrior is this person. They're willing to get on the internet and say anything about anybody hoping that mm. they response to yeah. get them some like. Yeah. If you see anything doing, got anything going on, don't never never put no light on nobody don't never respond to anybody that get on the internet that you don't know that never met you never been in a room with you never had no disagreements with you say something about you 
That means they want attention. They trying to clout chase and they're clout demon. They're clout warrior. Yeah. Clout warriors would do anything. <laughs> they're just their mom to get some traction. It's like yes, crack, they bro. They go crazy. Yeah. Like that shit. I done seen crazy shit. Don't say do nothing clout. to nobody. Don't respond. Because no when cap. you respond, you put light on them and you let your followers. Don't tag them. Don't respond. I'm talking about, I'm going to lock them all the way out. Because mm -hmm. now they just going to look goofy. And, you know and, what I mean? And, and I think what's good, I, I want to go ahead and push too is that, bro, like, Oh uh, man, people be thinking it's like on oh, no, other things like don't think that you gotta piggyback on somebody to get you where you wanna be. Bro, this shit, like no cap, like <clears throat> in the most nonchalant way, straightforward, to get to where you wanna be at is not gonna be easy mm -mm. at all, bro. And none of this shit going none of this shit is easy. Like they only see the when when somebody like they gotta see the whole come up. Bro, if I was to people think my blow up was fast. People think like I I, I went fast with shit. But bro, like this shit, Took a um, streaming. I've been shooting for two years, but before that, to get to streaming alone, bruh, people don't want people just want to nowadays. People just don't even want to work no more, bro. But I, but I don't met people that literally don't want to put in the pain, they just want, oh, yo, shout me out, bro, or 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 um, oh, yeah, I'm gonna put my shit on TikTok or this shit and thing. But like, people don't want to genuinely, genuinely work. That's just gonna separate you from everybody else, yes. So you're gonna put the hours in to work. I was in college, laptop, everybody going to parties and shit. I'm in college with my bum ass external drive hanging out the laptop, editing the video. Bitches was walking past the common room like, what you doing in here? Like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm editing. I'm over here editing. Uh, I record the video, edit the video, five minutes before class, upload that bitch. The class is all the way on the, across the other campus. I upload, make sure I upload, and I'm sprinting across the campus to go to go to uh to go to my class, go to the class, and that video probably flopped. You feel me? Like people think everything gonna be easy too. Like numbers, don't worry about the numbers, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like I post so much videos that don't flop in my past that didn't get me nowhere, but it's just the it's just the the adrenaline of working, like, mm -hmm. and I, I think it. that's why I'm so like on top of my game because I don't care. How, my whole thing is, bro. And if you know me, if anybody around me, did, they they could tell you, bro. I don't give a f how much money I get. I don't give a f how big I end up being. I'm always gonna have the same hunger and mentality as I did before everything everything blew up. I want to mm -hmm. say this, right? You feel me? It, see. I truly believe this. He always tell you, I say this, when you put the work in, God going to show you the way. Yes. See, yes. And like I just said, all of those YouTube videos you was doing, all of those failed skits that you was mm -hmm. doing, you said, I had a bunch of, all of that was lining you up to get to where, where you, you was at. That's exactly. To find out what do I do <laughs> that the people love. Like. Mm-hmm. And you can't and just, it just so happen to not be skits. Yeah, and you can't. And it, and, it, and I thought that was gonna be me, right? I, bro, but I tell you right now, bro. Before streaming, I didn't think I was gonna be a streamer, right? I swear to God, I'm thinking I'm just gonna be somebody. I just knew I was gonna be in front of the camera. I just didn't know. I want. I just know I wanted to be an actor, or I'm, I, I, I want to be known for the skits. That's my mentality the whole time. But the whole time, that wasn't even what like what was the big thing no more. It was just. The stepping stones to being where I was at, and people sit around and they and they pray and they um ask God to get them to where they at, but they don't know that you got to meet God halfway. Yes, mm -hmm. that's how you get it done. Yes. God, not you're not gonna just pray all day not doing nothing. Yeah, yes. you got to meet Him halfway, and then you you feel me? You keep praying, you keep doing anything, but you got to be putting in that work. And when you meet Him halfway, bro, that's gonna pay off. Bro. No cap. I started and when you me. get it, do not take it for it for granted. I don't see so much people get comfortable. Complacency mm -hmm. is the yep. most dangerous talk, talk. thing in the world. Speak Can't get comfortable, bro. Once you get comfortable, you start losing yourself. Mm -hmm. yep. You feel me? You start losing the hunger. You start losing the drive. Once you lose that, it's game over. You I feel started me? doing me and I was worth of game videos in 2012. Ugh. Think about that. That's I was so let me give y'all me and I was worth of game real quick. Ugh. All the youngins out there. Stop chasing bitches and chase money because when you got money, bitches chase mm. you. I was get since 2012. Wallow came home in 2017. Yep. Think about how many videos I was putting out every day. Exactly, bro. I didn't think that million dollars worth of game was going to be a podcast. Mm. I didn't think. It wasn't know, even in your brain. I just we was didn't putting know work in. Podcasts. I just was putting the work in. Okay, 
People like when I give them this game, which has got its attention, motivation, and education. Yes, people like when I talk to them. People like the advice that I give them. So, okay, I'm going I'm to give y'all game. I'm going to take questions. I'm going to answer y'all questions. All of that work. God said, okay, there you go. Yeah. No, you thought you might have had something over here, but no, 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 no. <laughs> My plans is different. <laughs> you got something over here. Matter of fact, hold on. I ain't going to give it to you. Until cuz come home. Mm. And, and, so y'all can both reap the benefits mm. of this Because he going to come home and he going to work. Mm. That's one thing he ain't never been was a lazy. Mm. He's a hustler by nature. It just started off with hustling negative. Yeah. Now your mind right. You're not going to hustle negative. You going to hustle positive, positive shit. shit. So that's what God was planning. And you got to understand this guy. I didn't sit there. In his crib, because if I wasn't at Nanny crib, or if I wasn't doing my video, doing whatever, I'd go, go chill at Gil crib. I'd be sitting in the crib with Gil, and I would sit there and watch people call him, right? Associates, people we know sometimes, family. Rappers. Rappers. Um, and they would call him, and he'd be like, yo, man, Wilder out here tripping. That nigga going crazy. I see that going to, and he'd just have him on speaker like, Cause we'd be talking, me talk. Somebody might call. He'd be like, "Cuz, just keep doing what you're doing. Mm. You got this shit in the chokehold. Just do you. Keep." I'm like, "Yeah, I ain't stop. I ain't going back to jail. I'm cool. I'm, yeah. I'm in my space. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and I'm speaking. And, and not to cut what? you off. At this time, he ain't even making no money off this. Shit. Mm. Nah, he just going. He just going. Yeah, and people, and that's where, and I'm glad you said that because people get into things for money, and that's what you can't yeah. like. We're going like, to finish too. Well, yeah, they so, you just can't continue though. Yeah, it, what happened is so one day somebody called like, "Yo, I need wild because I was doing these free commercials." So I'm just doing, I'm just so locked in and just building the brand. Gil called me like, yo, man, somebody got some bread for you to stand. I said, no, I just do it for free. He said, hold up. Get you some paper out of this. It's your brand now. You you, you did enough stuff for free to build your brand up. Because I'm talking, I probably went a year. I'm just going in, going in. But he like, yo, bro, you running around, got gas, you doing it. You got to take care of your own shit. And I was already making money off my T-shirts, but I didn't understand that I had a business. Mm -hmm. So he like, yo, so people calling him for shit. He just, yo. Every day. He got three, four people. Yo, they got, I mean, they got five grand for yeah. you here. They got this. I'm like, what? That's when I turned into a business, set the LLC up, start building shit. Yeah. But he was the one that was like, like, I want to let you hear this shit because that means you're doing something because all these people, why the fuck is they calling about you if you're not doing nothing? Because don't nobody talk about anybody that's not doing nothing. If you, so they, they, they just don't understand what you're doing. But it's something different because dudes, you, you coming home doing a rob, doing some dumb shit. Now, you ain't doing no dumb shit. Everybody got something to say. They complaining. But if you would have came home on some street shit, everybody would have loved you. And I'm telling you, that shit right there, and, and it was just like that. Return the favor. Like, this podcast shit, we didn't know nothing about this shit. We be seeing people doing it. But I read an article. I'm telling you, I was up like four in the morning. I read an article. I said, hold up. I called them like five, six in the morning. Yo, cuz, please read this article. Spotify allocate 400 million to podcasts in the first quarter. I said, hold up. I said, I know this is going to get this attention. Because people was already telling us, y'all need a podcast, y'all need a... So I sent it to him. He was asleep. And I'm like, this dude ain't going to call me. That motherfucker called me back in no time. I said, all right, I'm going to get the logo done. I'm going to set this up. I'm going to give it to the lawyer. I'm going to give it a shade of trademark. I'm going to do this, set up the LLC. Boom, boom, boom. He was like, come on, we doing this shit. We dropped the Because first... I didn't know it was that type of money in this shit. Yeah, he didn't, no, he didn't understand. So when, so when I, I, I'm reading this shit and it said Spotify allocates <laughs> 400 and something million dollars to the podcast in the first quarter... I said, the first quarter Boy, is January to April. April. <laughs> what the f Oh, oh, no. F that he can't believe 400 it. million? I, I, he got about his sleep. Oh, I got about listen. 60, 70 waiting on me. Listen, listen. I, I, listen. I literally, listen. There's no bullshit. I literally, I literally, I literally said, listen. I'm looking up the ads. I said, no, fuck how they do the ads. I said, I'm, I said, cuz, I'm going to just need you for some meetings. <laughs> I'm running around going to car dealerships, funeral homes, uh, brands, and that's how we started getting the ad dollars. We wasn't getting ad dollars. We wasn't worrying about YouTube because we didn't make really no money off of YouTube for like the first one or two years on 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 uh on YouTube because yeah. what we was doing is we was giving back. We was letting dudes put their song on their, on our stuff. So we had song of the week. So like an up and coming dude. They might have a song, we'd put it on our joint, so they'd be getting paid. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we was making money off of ads. I'm talking about I'm talking about shit load of money for a minute because I'm selling I'm selling minute ads four minutes a month mm -hmm. each show we got one show a week so that's four four a month 
and I'm selling it for a minute. I need twenty five thousand for for four minutes. They're like, all right, cool. I'm like, cuz I think I guess should charge more. He's like, so I'm talking. About, I'm killing them. I got I got the funeral home telling me, listen, please don't do no more commercials. I'm getting too many bodies. Like, like we paid y'all for some for, but y'all could cut that. Shit. I got too many. Bodies. I ain't got enough staff. I ain't got enough staff. I'm, I'm doing. I, I use my listen. My my, my, my my Max fiance. She had a, a hair business. So when we first started the podcast, we used her as. I did. I was doing marketing, marketing her stuff for yeah. free to use it as show. Have you had any good hair? So I'm showing them how the commercial will be. Yeah. So everybody like, yo, I need one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's how we killed, because we wasn't doing the traditional podcast ad dollars, so we was making shit loads of money yeah. off, of, off of the strength, and we were just building and building and building and building, and we just did it. I'm telling you, we was top on the chart, and we just kept doing it. And I think sometimes people might see that, but and they look at Gillian Wallow, be like, oh, I'm going to do a podcast. They don't see 2012 when I was in jail reading and studying and Gilly was out here starting million dollars with I, the game I, 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 I know each other that's my cousin that's my older cousin yeah. but he really my little cousin because he's 4'11 yeah. you know what I'm you saying so I'm 6'1 I used you know to what mean? change his <laughs> diapers don't man. tell nobody that man I did don't tell nobody that I used to wash you up in I mean, the tub too don't tell nobody you that you keep it real you was a little oh, you, you was shit a little, in the tub you all was the little, so, so, so here's my question for y'all right so most people in the position that was y'all most people in your position when somebody go to jail for that long bro what made you just like want to like I feel like I feel like you I feel like y'all both is so special because it's like what made you want to just like wait till he get home and just thrive with him no. knowing that he done been through all that most people would even most people wouldn't even give a f bro yeah, you feel me I'm gonna so, keep it all the way real with you you know even though when he was locked up I always was shot wallow out. So in all my in all my raps, all my mixtapes, everything I put out, free wallow, free, free spado. Wallow. Yeah. So everybody always heard he like he done been home and had people walk up on him like, yo, man, I always heard your name, man. It's a pleasure to mm -hmm. meet you now, man. Gil used to always say free wallow. Cause this was my first rapping partner. Yeah. I don't only rap I was because the of this. I I wasn't no rapper. I was trying to do some stick ups and shit. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like I wasn't trying to be no rapper. Rapping wasn't really cool back then. Mm. You feel? There's only a few rappers in the whole city. Mm. So for us, it was like when he came home and he was doing his thing, I was just proud that he wasn't on no, he, I'm never going back to jail because yeah. I don't give a f what the situation no angry is. Shit, I'm not no angry shit. And then other people had went to jail and came home and when they come home, they be bitter. They be angry. They got an attitude. People owe them something. Bro, I wasn't with you when you got locked the fuck up. Mm -hmm. you, he wasn't even really kicking it. You feel? He didn't come home bitter, angry, none of that shit. He came home like, and he listens. He That's his biggest attribute. He listen. He, you will give him some game. He will soak that shit up. He'll jump on YouTube University, Google anything you told him. Yeah. He'll come back tomorrow. You know what, cuz? You was right, right? Because I had did some research and, and we Fuck ain't that. supposed to be getting no 32%. We supposed to be getting 62%. See, so he one of them. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So when he came home, even when we went to did the podcast and we went to split the shit, he said, How you wanna do it, cuz? Because he understood cuz was building his brand. Five years before I even came home. But I said, we're going to do this 50-50. Mm. Because everything that you got coming, you deserve to have that. You did 20 years in jail. Mm. I've been out here. I done been to London, Japan, S Thailand, anywhere you could name. I done been there. My feet done touch land there. So for me to be like, oh, we're going to do 70-30. No, I don't want no mishaps. Mm -mm. If we get a check for this amount of money, you gonna get this amount of money and I'm gonna get this amount of money and you ain't never gotta count my money. I ain't never, never gotta, gotta count, count your man. money. We ain't never gonna have no motherfucking disagreements because you put in work every day since you came home. So you meeting me halfway. Right. Yeah. And I've been out here. When you came home, I had a house, I had my family, I got my kids, I got eat. Yeah. Go ahead and eat. You solo, you single, you, you whatever, you got a woman, you ain't got no kids, whatever, whatever you got going on, you deserve to have that. Because you gonna put the same amount of work in from this day forward that I'm gonna put in. Mm. 
That's it. Yeah. They don't see that work, Kyle. Nah. Nah, they don't see that, bro. Mm-hmm. That, I mean, that'd be the most beautiful part of it. Like, to look back yeah. and see everything and just how everything is now, bro, it's truly a blessing. No cap. And, and, and people just need to understand that, like, and, it, and it's like, too, like, it, like you seeing us talk about this, it could be you. It could be you if you just get the f*** up, see what you want to do, tunnel vision. Mm-hmm. F*** the parties, f*** mm. the distractions, f*** all mm. that. Because when you get, bro, I'm telling you, bro, once you get your hands on where you want to be at, you're going to feel it. And once and once you get to be able to, 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 to take off and once you st- feel some traction, you got to just keep going. You feel what I'm saying? All that shit going to come after, bro. All that shit. The bitches you worry about, the parties you worry about, all that, bro. I'm, I'm only 21. I done been, I have so much young friends who just want to go party <laughs> all day. About nothing. About nothing. Just want, yo, bro, pull up to this party, bro. Yo, pull up. Yo, pull up on me, gang. This mad bitches here. No. I got to stream tonight for eight hours. You feel what I'm saying? I can't be doing that. You feel me? So. Damn, your streams be eight hours? Eight hours. Eight to ten hours. No cap. Damn, he's a, that, No, you know what you just said? Almost said? every Damn. night. You just said something important. And it's a term I'm gonna put out there because people don't understand. Well, we got out here now, we got what you got called, and I'm terming this, lifestyle groupies. Mm. They groupies of a lifestyle, being somewhere, taking pictures. Oh, I gotta be at this party, I gotta be here. You're not making no money. You, you, you're using money that you got that you need to take care of your responsibilities. Lifestyle groupies. Yep. Oh, kind of gonna be there. Oh, Drake, and I'm gonna be there. Like, bro, they don't even know. Like, you just trying to be, just yeah. to say you was at a party. And you saying such and such gonna be there, yeah. they getting paid to they be there. They getting paid to be there. there. You're there. going to be there instead of sitting back, sitting back, putting the work in that you gotta put it. And another thing, one thing that we didn't do, and I think a lot of people play themselves with this. Dudes, people got to stop getting on that internet hating because a person, let, let me say something to you. Yeah. You will open your mouth up as soon as you open your mouth with that hate, you don't even dig. You just close 50,000 doors because, listen, I'm telling you right no now, cap. I'm telling you right now, I didn't see it. I didn't try to help people out and I'd be like, Cause I don't be knowing anything because no I'm always trying to help somebody and I come back to Gil like, yo, man, you know I tried to help. I was up at the label. I said this about, and they was like, no, we don't fuck with them. I'm like, hold up. What did he do? He said something about such and such, such and such. That's our artist. We got to deal with them. So mm. we done. They all black. He can't deal with none of these. So when you get on this internet and you mm-hmm. run your mouth or you yeah. say some slick shit, or you s- make sure you're not trying to get in no doors, no mm-hmm. corporate doors. Yeah, make sure, yeah. Make sure because you're done. <laughs> you're done. <laughs> you're done. <laughs> when you get on here talking no about cap. people, you're done because I'm one of the boys. He know me. I'm, like, mm-hmm. I, I'm the chill boy. I'm like, you ever say anything about me, uh, you're done. Yeah. I'm, never fu- yeah, I'm not yeah. going to block you into that, but I'm never, yeah. you're never going to get no support no. from me. And it's, so, and it's call- so crazy you're because done. you could be just be chilling yeah. and they do it to themselves. Yep. The they only come way out of nowhere. is a cause and effect and you're going to be that cause and you definitely going to get that effect. No cap. Yeah. You feel me? And, it all so, be, and a lot of times it all be about who you're around and it all be emotional moment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You be in your feelings about something, man, fuck that and then you go off that emotion right there go online say some shit. then the next day you be realizing that shit oh, don't even shit. that deep yep. man it, I it, shouldn't it, ever. It. but that all the blogs got it and it ain't getting no, and, and it ain't getting no traction you played yourself you showed yep. your hand and not only did you play yourself the people that be in the comments that you might see you like hold up don't I know you 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 agreeing with this type yep. of shit? you done too yep. you want a list cause people got lists out here mm-hmm. don't get on nobody <laughs> Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, because because a lot of people that come where we come from, they don't be knowing the game, yeah. no. and they be in the moment with a bunch of motherfuckers, yep. and they got nothing going on. Bro, and they, yeah, they man, that's right, bro. Say this. Oh, you're done. Yeah, you're done. Three you're years done. later, you like, damn, why I ain't never? And I and, and it's so crazy because I I appreciate it, like so like, bro, it happens it happens to me, bro. Once a week, I, I don't, bro. It happens to me a lot where where some people like I would literally <coughs> see what's with me. A few months ago, or want to be something I'm a part of, and then they go on the internet and just say some dumb shit, and I'm like, okay, and I don't even say nothing, bro. I just tally it, and I'd be like, I'm so, but I'd be so happy because I'm just so happy they play, they show their hand, so mm-hmm. I just know, God, no, over there, no, you feel me? Just keep going. So I, and, and you would never see it come from me. Like I, 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 bro. One thing about me, bro, I would never start nothing with nobody. Anything that you ever see me. Doing a line like that is because that other person started it. It ain't Kai. It, uh, my yeah. name always get dreaded to some shit. Bro. Yeah, but you and you and Glow gotta get this shit back together. <laughs> you know what I mean? Bro, the thing with Glow is you play there, you go on stage there. <laughs> yeah, bro, that, bro, that, <laughs> that whole thing was just like, bro. Me personally, you know Glow give our leg warmers too, man. It, it's, yeah. yeah, but it's so it's so crazy because I I really appreciated um. I liked it. Uh, I really liked uh, Glow music. Like, no cap, bro. If you watch my streams, you know I used to like her music a lot. Then she did that, 
and it was kind of weird because I'm like, huh? That's all for honest reaction. I just hope a lot of artists out here, like when I react, I just think about it like I'm just just reacting to music in my room. Don't take it too serious, bro. And you would want somebody to be honest with you 100 percent more than just say some fake. You but feel I'm gonna what I'm say saying? this though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a little bit game when that. What happened is you looking at you like you just. Kai from the Bronx, from the dirtiest place in New York, from the Bronx. No, dirty. Stop you know. saying dirtiest place, bro. Because <laughs> if I go to Philly and that's dirty, I'm going to be calling y'all. It ain't dirty. I'm going to go see no pictures. I see no big rats. They got rats inside. Go to the Bronx, Lions. bro. I seen the rats inside the Lions. Bronx. Next time you, next time we doing an interview, we doing it in my, in my, in my mom crib. No, 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 I ain't trying to get bit. In the, in the old Bro, shit that we used to be at. I'm not right trying now. to get no, bit. No, yeah, we gonna, we, we gonna be in that bitch. Y'all got rats like the size of the no, Lions. No, in New York. Right? No, bro. In Bronx. Too. We ain't that dirty, bro. Shout out to the BX. Big New York in this bitch. Okay, so no but, cap. But, but I'm just saying, the reason why we say that because everybody from Brooklyn, everybody from say Harlem, so, everybody from Queens. But you, but y'all been there. Y'all been there. said the Bronx was the dirty because they're not from there. Ask a Bronx who no, the dirtiest. Bronx, they say we is some dirty motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> that they said that. Somebody did say that. <laughs> he did. He was like, I ain't gonna lie, man. It is filthy in yeah. the Bronx. <laughs> yeah, they did say that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I forget who said that, man. Because I said, you from the Bronx? Let me ask you a question, man. Not from the Bronx, said, bro. They said the Bronx is dirtiest Bronx in New York. Not from the Bronx, bro. <laughs> who was it? Who was it? Yo, you can I say forget. it. You be I all in. No, no, my no, my no, Caucasian no, camera guy always behind camera. All this whispering shit. Say who the f it was. Is it a boxer? I don't know who it was, but I Damn, forget. I remember. But you yeah. know, you know what it is though. You know, um, I just think you might think that you regular Kyle from the Bronx, you're chilling. But bro, um, we all mess with glow. Yeah. And as a woman, it probably hurt even more because you looking at you like you just a regular dude. Now, if you you're a regular dude when you with you and you with the crew, mm -hmm. when you with the crew, you ain't no. But you. you your influence is so powerful. Yeah. You got to take where she coming from as a woman. Like, damn, bro. Like that, That you know me Because you got a, real influence. Yeah, but he, but here's the thing, Wallo. Bruh, like, I don't know how to explain it. No matter what, I'm going to always be true to myself. Bro, there's some there's some artists out there, when I do say something that's bad about them, shits, oh, about, it, it's like, and it, that situation is like, she hit, she hit, she hit, she hit that one time she missed, in my opinion. You feel what I'm saying? And there's so much artists out there that literally, bro, will call my phone like, like want to know my honest thoughts on what I say. And they appreciate me being honest with them 100%. Because yeah. a lot of people do Chicago. be honest, man. Because I ain't going to lie, bro. I'm going to be the, I, I, I'll be honest, bro. You feel me? And I, and I, even in the clip, bro, I said I love Glow. Even in that same clip, I said I love Glow. Uh, uh. But it was just that. It just it was just a weird it was just a weird interaction with that. I ain't like it me personally. You feel what I'm saying? But you know, I still wanted to win. She could do it, do your thing, win all that. You feel me? It's no it's no uh, negative. And I'm not talking about glow when I say this, I'm just talking about artists in, in general, general. Right. Yeah. Because glow that's 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 family. that's like our family. niece. Yeah, know, yeah, for family. sure. Niece, I'm just glow. saying this to the artists in general. And glow probably be could could take something from this as well. When you got somebody like a car who Generally, the nigga show love. Bro, yes. But don't be no I to everybody. If if I'm able to say you the shit, 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 and you love me, I should be able to say this one right here ain't it. Mm. And you still love me. You still respect my opinion because at the end of the day, it's only my opinion. Yeah. If if your shit is hot, he could say. Oh, this is not it. And I guarantee you, you still going to see in that motherfucking chat saying, no, this shit is hot, Kyle. Bro, you know how this much, shit popping, bro, do bro. you know how much times where my chat would let me react to some shit? I don't like it. Whole chat loves it. They're like, Kyle, you bugging the f out. This shit right here is fine. I'm like, nah, I just don't see it. I just don't see it. Boom, I get off stream. A week pass, two weeks pass. I'm listening to more. I'm like, okay, maybe my chat was like, or... There'll be shit that I would love and the chat would just hate. And I'm like, how the fuck can y'all hate this? This shit is fire. Whole chat like, bro, you're bugging, bro. This shit, this shit whack. You feel me? And you gotta and you gotta you gotta go to a point like, bro, you can't, and I gotta, I always, cause what I do, people already think that like I be sugarcoating with people where I be saying everybody shit fire. Bro, like I love to be honest because I can't if somebody can see a, a, a something that's that's clearly oh, like not all that. 
Mm. And I could just be like, yeah, this shit fire. And you could obviously see through f- the fakeness of me, my reaction, and right. just wanted to do it because I know the person or right. or, or or I'm not trying to, or I'm trying to make sure they, they shit go good. You feel me? Right. But I'm going to keep it a stack, bro. I done had, bro, everybody roll out for their album, everybody that they want, everybody shit. All the labels want to come to me. You feel me? Like, I'm not going to lie. I've been offered so much money to be paid to react, good reaction. Guess what I do? I say no, keep the money. I've never accepted any money from no label off the fact that I don't want to go on that shit, and react it, yeah. and it's like, it's it's like, it's not what I want. Right. And it's not, I just don't want to feel fake. Right. I, like, from the beginning, I've just been real and true to myself. And I would never let anybody change how I act and how I do. Because once I stop being true, and I start being this fake person, this fake, that just, just doing shit. For the money, I, I, I lose myself. Right. I lose myself, bro. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? And and respectfully, I just I just can't do that. You That's feel me? How I feel. And I applaud, I bro. And trust me, I applaud all artists out there. I think it's actually very hard to be a rapper right now. Wait, like, did, did you ever? Did you ever make a mixtape and try to be a rapper in the in the crib? I, I, I only made one song. It was it ass? It went. It's gold. Oh, well, that's I mean, good. I mean, I mean what's up? People thought it was ass, though. Yeah, that was, Don't get me wrong, people. Well, well, so, had, from a no, scale of one to ten, what was it on some real shit? No, no, my one song that I got is like a nine. Like this, shit, like everybody, everybody was with it. I swear mm-hmm. to God. But here's the thing, though, I, I'm not an artist or nothing. But let's do it with my streams, bro. I've I've had so much ideas in my head that I thought would be like, this is fire. I do it. Everybody's seeing that shit whack, and I just take it in and be like, okay. How can I just make the next one fire? You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's 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 no hard feelings at the end of the day at all, bro. You feel me? I love I love all the artists out there. They be going, they work, they bust their ass off, they go hard. Yeah. You feel me? And nine nine percent of the chance I'm there to support and and show attention to what they drop. I'm on their drops every time, but I just can't have no weird energy or nothing like that. You feel me? And it's all love, no cap. It's all love. That's what I'm talking about, man. Yeah. Listen now, but what's up with the sports? Do you did you tapped into sports? Who are your team? Um, I'm not tied into sports. I ain't gonna lie though. I am in. I am basketball training right now though. Heavy basketball training. Yeah. You gonna play Gil? I, I'm. Pl- You're not that basketball training, is you? No, I cook the shit out. Nah, the nah, I, nah. I'm, I'm ass. Fry, so I'm, not, I'm ass, but I'm, I'm, I'm grinding right now. Who? What, 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 you get your J, your gym I'm, shot. I'm, with, uh, I'm gonna see Brinkley right now. We we doing oh, a whole lockdown thing. And we, and oh, we going yeah. crazy I, right I now. I cook see Brinkley though. <laughs> yeah, I got Gil cooking Brinkley. Yeah, I cook him. I cook him. You nice. How, yes. Yeah. How, how do you? Uh, no, hold on. I got this video y'all on my phone. I'm the nicest. This but I'm too about, funny. But, but I'm talking about is, is your shot getting better? Yeah, yeah, it is. It's it, but it's feeling weird, but it's getting better, bro. I, I'm not gonna lie. I don't even want to do too much talking. I'm just gonna pop out one day, going crazy. No cap. You ain't gonna be going with you. Crazy, drop you off. <laughs> Damn. He said he gonna see. He said he gonna drop, drop you off. And I, I ain't gonna lie. Drop you off. He, he sell good. Yeah. Dude, dude. He <laughs> drop sure. you off. Yeah, he be like, shit, get up there. He can't make one shot. <laughs> nah, I, I, I was never the athletic type, bro. I didn't do no sports. I wasn't interested in sports. I was just going home playing 2K. I'm going to keep it all the way real, dog. I'm good. I'm one of them niggas that's good at everything. That's fine. Dancing, I'll get you out of here and that. No, you wasn't no dancing. Uh, I was DM. I was dancing. But I machine. still had the moves. I just ain't activate them. And you was you was doing the butterfly <laughs> shit. You was doing all this. I wasn't with that shit. I wasn't with twerking on the legs. You lying on me. I ain't do that shit. The way they man, the bull on the run. Look at it, look at it, look at it, oh, look at it, oh, look at it. No, look no, that's how you, that's how you do it. You was twerking, you was doing the twerking. Got it, you're lying. <laughs> nah, they was, that was a joke, man. Oh, Need you faking in the club. Better twerking, man. Back at the club, dances back in the day, man. Late nineties, man. Early nineties. <laughs> He's a nut, man. This dude be lying on me, man. <laughs> well, listen, Neff, man. We appreciate you, man. Yeah. We appreciate, appreciate you pulling y'all. up, no man. Cap. We, we don't stream for we don't stream for eight hours. Yeah. We do what? Work it, work it, work it, man. Yeah. Yeah, you I'm know what, bro. You'll pass out for eight hours. I'm, 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 I'm not going. All I can say is, bro. I appreciate y'all and. I still got a lot of work to do. I'm not even nowhere close on where I want to be at. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and what I want to do in life for real. I seen you in the film I with just NLE. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Shout I, out to NLE, man. That's so yeah, young. Yeah, young. He another person that be working he's grinding. A, he's a machine. A machine. beast. Yeah, he's a beast. Damn. That's and, um, Shout out to his mom, Shout out to his mom, too. too. Yeah, I just got, I, I want to be, a, I wanna be, my angle is to be an actor for real. I just got uh, my first my first movie, Good Burger 2. But do, yeah, do you do you do it? Do you got an acting coach and all that? You, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm working well, on you all really that. For real, about yeah, that. I'm for real. So I, I still got a lot more room, and I want to be. The, I just want to be the greatest 
at just at be, at my craft. I just want to when I leave and I and everything is and everything is done for and the the book is closed. I just want people to know me as like, yo, when it came to Kai, he didn't play. You feel me? He got shit done and he he was going crazy. I just want to salute you for changing the game and letting youngins know that when you embrace your individualism, it's a lot yeah. of blessings around the corner. Uh, and just be you. You ain't got to be, be you. Like all that street shit, all that tough shit, all that I'm trying. Man, be you. Uh, trying to be a real. Be you. Be a real you. And you yeah. got a lot of things coming to you. And I want to say this, man. You 21 years old, man. You one of the biggest niggas in the world. In the world. Appreciate that. As some OGs, man, we super proud of you, man. Super proud. Just think about that, bro. Yeah. You 21. Most people that's 21, that's the biggest people in the world, they usually be a artist. Yeah. They usually be a athlete. A athlete. They, they usually be something of that. Yeah. Not a streamer. Yeah, new game. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You like to to us. We look at this shit as amazing, like because we like the opportunities that these youngins got. Man, is unbelievable. You got to understand. You yeah. built a whole foundation <coughs> from the house. Yeah, from the crib. From the crib, man. It's a blessing, bro. Think about that. You the one of the biggest in the world. And you did it from your crib. That's major. That's major, man. So we always going to salute you, man. And shout out to Mr. Beast, man. No cap. Yeah. Shout out to Mr. Beast, <laughs> man. <It's>, that <laughs> mother... <laughs> uh, there goes, you know... I, we don't really look up to too many motherfuckers doing this. Shit, boy. But we, <laughs> we look up to you. You doing it on a di whole different level. And we salute you for that, man. Because one thing we going to do, we going to salute you. We ain't going to shoot you. We, we, you know what I'm saying? Damn. We want to eat with you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no we, cat. we don't want to be no enemies with nobody. We want to salute everybody that's out here doing it and, and salute y'all to elevate and you, you boy, you you out here doing that shit, man. Appreciate we proud that. of you. So we just want to thank you, man. Yes, sir. Give you your flowers while you're living and we appreciate you for pulling up and f***ing with the OGs. Of course. And uh, he got an eight-hour stream to go to. <laughs> hey, I, I'm talking about eight-hour You wonder why that Check so big. And I'm going to listen. Had to stream 27 Whoa. hours in a day. I'm going to I'm gonna have to bring you to what's the name, Kyle? I'm going to have to bring you to, uh, you know, I'm the culture advisor at YouTube. We got a program called YouTube Avenues, where it's though we go to different cities in the inner city, yeah. educate people on how to grow their YouTube, how oh, to yeah, monetize YouTube. I might need you to, you know, we might use you as a specialist one day to come and talk to the people. I'm so there. I'm going to just keep you, let you know we're going to be in Miami in December. We're going to be in Miami, but I'm, I'm going to just let you know. Yeah, just let mm -hmm. me know. I'm it may be huge events, too. Huge Shout out to the whole YouTube mm -hmm. family, too, yeah. man. Everybody over there. Brittany, Brittany and Rachel, Mahalet, C Money, yeah. Bella, Adam, Deb, the whole crew. Because we sitting there looking at somebody Viv. that came up off of YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> yep. We look at it. We look at it. <laughs> yeah. Thank God for YouTube. Yeah, it's going down, man. It's going it's down. Crazy. It is just like that. Right. Yeah.